little intro. How little is it? As he always says. Yeah. <laughs> little. That means this is an important occasion. Yes. Brand. <laughs> like a car dealer. Like a car dealer on a beach in the middle of downtown Guadalajara, this guy's got stories and poems handwritten on the back of old beer bottles with salt and boldness around the rim. He took out a piece of his thoughts connected to a delicately inebriated piece of his brain, not unlike an engaging madness fuming and addicted to the typewriter with a doobie hanging from his mouth, and last night's gin rummy stained inside his heart and parts of his soul. He's your friend, your brother, your next door neighbor with all the parties and flecks of tattoo on his skin shedding a crystallized dark. He's an everyday man yet unlike anyone else. Give it up for Daniel Message, aka the Danimal. Yeah! What's up, y'all? My name is Dan. Um, I work behind the bar quite a bit of a time here. Uh, I help book shows here. I do a little bit of everything around here. Um, I'm just gonna sort of share like a cluster of writings from, I'd say, probably 2010 to about now. I'm not really gonna, you know, make a big deal of when they were done, but uh, they're done all over. Uh, just to give you a little information about myself. I've been in Austin. This is the fifth state I've lived in. I've lived here about six years now, going on seven. Um, lived all over Austin. I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and then I spent half of my time in um, like Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and Charleston, South Carolina, like on the coast. I live in Portland, Oregon. I lived in Hawaii for a few years. So like a lot of these things are from you know, different parts, different states I've lived in, and yeah, um, I like a lot of, I grew up in uh, punk, metal, and hip-hop scenes, along, I just grew up around a lot of really awesome music, in addition to like classic rock, and jazz, and all different kinds of things, so, I, a lot of my friends are artists, musicians, I've been on tour with a few bands, and uh, yeah, I've definitely seen and experienced a bunch of interesting things, and also went to school and did a lot of study in politics, almost really like went for that, but ended up moving to Portland, Oregon, which I feel I'm glad I did because I'm really not a suit and tie kind of person. But um, yeah, I will get going. Uh, this stuff's going to range all over the place from like I said, like horror movie stuff to like death metal stuff. I can't really say I would consider all of these poems in the traditional sense, but they're all like short little bursts of things. Uh, the first one I'm going to read is going to be going off of, you know, recent events, things like that. I actually wrote this a few years ago, but it's pretty relevant. Uh, the poem is called Terrorist. <clears throat> is it terror or is it this? This little thing inside of being to be labeled dangerous. A word that rides with suicide, dead baby, drive-bys, oppression to alive <clears throat> reflection. The selection is a special label with plenty of reasons from those willing and able. If you lived it, you might know what they are feeling. But is it terror, or is it this? Fighting for your family for a risk, governmental spies, leadership, lies, rules, you despise, freedom through dead eyes. I guess it depends on your lens. <clears throat> One country's freedom, another country's terrorist. Or is it this, a hit and a miss, a bomb with a kiss, a few seconds dismiss, a being gone from seeing, transforming and leaving. It must be this, the real terrorist. This one, um, again, this one is a little more political. I try not to like be too direct at things. I don't really, I mean, people can write how they want, but I don't like being very direct. I like being a little vague with a lot of my writings, as I'm sure you'll see. This one is called All-Knowing Eye. What am I, All-Knowing Eye? Can I see the future and all it beholds, watching the world as it implodes? 
licking on nematodes to get a higher plane of thinking, putting down the poison I am drinking. If only I knew the time and the place to save this race. History and society have thrown sand in our third eye, hoping it would die. Who knows better than my subconscious thoughts held back by all that I've been taught. Just a little peek into another plane can drive an unprepared mind insane. Existence goes hand in hand with persistence. I just want it all to go away, but it reminds me why I must stay. As images go into my unknowing eyes, I see the lies, but look away. My eye may not save this place. The next journey through time and space is mine to see. When the moment comes, my eye will be open and I will be free. Uh, this next piece, I, I don't really write a lot of like romantic stuff. There might be like subtle hints inside of some of it, but I don't really write a lot of like stuff in that sense. And this one isn't, even though the title sort of is, but uh, this next song is called Fuck Love. Fuck love, not because it isn't what I have, what it isn't what I don't have, but more like something that can't be held together by words. It's what I got for all y'all here with me in the present and all the ones in the past. It's all the ones that have put up with my shit and let me pass. All the ones that keep me feeling the realization I have too much to give in such a short amount of time. The people that will never feel it and the people you couldn't give it to for free. Never something you can see or quantify. Feelings that don't always come in a nicely wrapped box or left over in an old sock. Something hardwired to our alien brains. Not a shape, word, organ, feeling, or touch, but a multitude of things scattershot at different targets, the end result may or may not be the sum of its parts. Just make sure to keep all of the meanings close to your heart. This song, or song, <laughs> this uh, one I wrote was um, when I was actually about to leave Hawaii. I was very um, conflicted about it. I almost didn't get on the plane. I lived there for about two years and some change, and like, yeah, I almost didn't get on the plane. But, uh, this was sort of how I was feeling like as I was leaving Hawaii. But um, here's this one, it's called Sunset. It's called Drifting Away, Nothing to Say, Just Let Go of Everything. No goodbyes, no more lies, no talking silence. My time spent is up. We've all had enough. It doesn't matter who we knew or where we were. Life comes and goes like in the ocean. We live in a constant motion, but we are drawn to the calm. It is our keeper and our destroyer. It dulls the sharp edge that existence gives us. Sometimes pain and change are some of the only ways to feel alive in a complacent existence. Our resistance to what gives us cause to live beyond human-made laws and live in a world that is all of ours. Each day is getting closer to breaking through to the other side. When do you feel the most alive? What do you feel inside? What do you almost die? When do you want to go on this murder ride? When you fly in your dreams, silence in the sun is about to set. Blow the clouds out. Take out the candles. Some will always fear what they cannot see in the dark. This is. Nah. Take care of the bartender. Don't take care of me. What do y'all think so far, ladies and gentlemen? Is he doing all right? Woo! All right, so here's the thing. Um, not only is he a poet, not only is he a great music lover, not only is he my fucking friend, but tonight he is our feature. With all of our features of Spoken Nerd, because they don't roll like rock stars, even though they all deserve to. There's no two of us outside with his face on it. So what we do to show love for any artists that agree to feature for us is we summon the magical tip jar. I call it magical because even though it's empty right now, when I pass it around, Hopefully it will not come back empty. So tonight our feature, the Danimal, has asked that all the tips from tonight, that all the tips from the tip jar go to our barista Alyssa, ladies and gentlemen. So without any further ado, I'll let him continue on and I'll just put the tip jar on the table and let it just float around and get that full as it can. Give it up to Danimal. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm a big like horror movie fan, fantasy, sci-fi, all that stuff. Uh, I do have some pieces that are just sort of me going and imagining into a world that's very dark, very macabre. Uh, this is one of those pieces, it's called Extinguisher of Souls. Um, and like I said, between the horror movie and a lot of the metal stuff I listen to, there's definitely a very um, 
I don't know, a very weird place I can take my mind at times. Um, this one <clears throat> is ready to go. Blood drips from an open cut, nothing that will ever, that I will ever know to keep me from infecting you. As the blood rolls down the skin, I say amen to this life of sin. The pain lets you know you are alive in this world, just as the blood will dry and turn to dust, so your life. Trust is such a strong word, I'm sure you've heard it in your head as you're being bled. No life too big, no life too small, the extinguisher of souls is in for the long haul. Every move you make rips open old wounds and creates new lacerations. Just the person to infect the masses came from the dark with a hatred for the light, possessing a dire desire to fight and a love for the night. Nothing they can do will ever change you. Destruction and chaos is what made you. The time spent together could have killed us both if we weren't already dead inside. I'm always down for a murder ride. Now this stuff, um, I've never actually been in a band. I'm a novice guitarist at best. I know a lot of friends that are amazing musicians like Ernie B and Magic Jack and a few other people in this room. But um, when, when I was in Hawaii, there was pretty much reggae music, island music, and like dubstep stuff. There wasn't really anything else. And like I said, I like going to all kinds of music and all kinds of shows, things like that. And I had a few friends that were in like to punk and metal out there. And so we just wrote songs and we just like came up with stupid ideas for like Hawaiian metal band that never happened. But um, I'll read you a few of the lyrics for that that we wrote because they're sort of funny and I found them the other day and I was like, yeah. So this is a song we wrote because a lot of people in Hawaii um, die from melanoma, skin cancer, um, mostly white people. And uh, yeah, so we wrote a song about melanoma, or lyrics. <laughs> but uh, this, song, this one's called Melanoma. And it said, you have had too much fun in the sun. You have nowhere to run. Your enemy grows inside of you. Your body is starting to betray you as your skin starts to be covered in discolored blotches. Soon lumps will form and cover your body. The only <clears throat> thing you will be able to do is get radi radiation therapy. Your skin is starting to turn on you and cannibalize you from the inside out. You are <clears throat> far beyond fixable and nothing to look forward to but pain until you die. You look like a diseased human french fry. The sun has radiated your skin and chosen to give you a slow, painful death. Tumors burst as you try to move, covered in sores and blisters, barely able to move. Rays of solar energy break down your being until you lose all feeling. There is no cure, and once you get a hold of you, there is no turning back. You were working on a tan as your life faded black. Imagine that to very angry guitars. That's uh, pretty much how it would be. Um, another one we did in the very uh, same vein was uh, called Dead at Sea. And by the way, this band was supposed to be called Kapua, which is a Hawaiian spirit that's like a shapeshifter and kills a lot of people out there. It's like one of the main like stories out there. And then there's the Menahones, which are like little like guys that come into your camp at night and tie you down and take you away. But those are like some of the best like Hawaiian folklore. Um, so. The next one I did was, uh, we call it <clears throat> Tiger Shark, and it was just obviously because Tiger Sharks eat everything, they found pretty much everything in a Tiger Shark's stomach. So um, this one we did, it was uh, cold, emotionless, black eyes looking around for only one thing, saw blade like teeth that cut through flesh, a hunger for anything in its way. It may be your unlucky day, a drop of blood mixed with salt water summons this god of death from miles away. He'll turn your vacation into a permanent stay. In the pits of his gut, you will rot as your loved ones mourn, torn apart as you drown and the life loses grip. A final cloud of rest disperses in the current as he swims away. The tiger of the deep will sink his teeth into you or anyone you love. An emotionless killer is the best at his job, and that's what <clears throat> he was created to do. A killing machine, ruler of the coral jungles. It is one of many that holds a key to the kingdom of the dead. The, ele <clears throat> the electropulses in the water give you away. Be careful how long in the ocean you stay. So, got a few more here that I'm gonna read to y'all. Um, this next one is uh, more or less, 
I guess another horror movie one since we're on the, the death metal stuff and then probably switch it up from there. But um, this one is called We We Have Such Sights to Show You and it is inspired a little bit by Hellraiser. But um, this one is <clears throat> starts off, please sit back while we drill those binoculars into your face. Give us a second so we could burn off your race. We use the fire fueled by all the dead souls we stole from those who couldn't afford our tolls. Behold the piles of bodies on fire of living things whose use ceased to exist. The smoke twists and dances to the squirming bodies and the flickering flames. The scent of rot and decay is intoxicating. Let the knife sink in slow, twist it around for luck, and watch as the life transfers from this realm. Separate flesh from the bone. No part of this will go to waste. Evil will always have its place. Here is your first taste. A life of shadows built upon the bodies of others. A pillow to smother the sleeping baby. Destroyer of all who fall under his blade. Never turn away in the company of wolves. Your blood smelling sweeter by the minute. A bloody orifice to impregnate while the flesh is consumed. <clears throat> Lean back and enjoy because your time will be soon. There we go. Four movies. So this one, this song is just, or song, again, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying song, but this one is more or less uh, about a, um, I guess, just being sort of stuck in your head at times and something along those lines, but uh, it's called Escape Proof Box. Invisible locks collected to the holes upon a box, physical, <clears throat> no physical key has the power to unlock. This box is see-through and also all around you. You can take the box anywhere, it's down for a ride. Sometimes you can even let others look inside. The box cannot be destroyed in this plane, and doing so would make you cease to exist or be sane. This is your curse. You must keep Pandora inside, no matter what it comes to in this world. You are only as free as the walls that surround you. Between the walls in your head, the walls in your dwelling, and the walls of the planet, you are boxed into an existence based on restriction. The chaos between the walls is what some call thought. Some call life, some call existence. Open the box and realize you are in another. The mirage of victory is a weapon for defeat, captive to an escape-proof box, world that fades to black. Uh, this was another one I wrote. Um, it was a few years ago when I first moved out here. I really didn't have a steady job. It was just bouncing around and it was pretty interesting but good good times and we ended up uh, hanging out a bunch of my friends I actually moved out here to help promote some bands and yeah I wrote this song or this one because I really didn't know where I was gonna be but um, it's called drifting and a whirlwind of thoughts a multitude of ideas only life in a world that can be free us inside of a life so devious can you trust the mirror or should it trust you so many things to see and do some things can never be true but make sure it's you. As a person, keep the immersion. Trying to die, don't live a lie. Stuck in a primordial black hole of pleasures and heartbreaks, the give with more of the take. Life in the end, more Insta friends, sushi concept, sushi concepts, inducing the, the bends, the sound of nature around waiting to absorb me back to the black. A perpetual downhill battle is about to consume me and all the loved ones I know. Who said you can't have fun spinning tires in each town till it's on to the next? A place where more is less. This next one is, uh, again, something that you could talk about that's more relevant here. Um, I just call it Land of the Lost. No dinosaur references, unfortunately. But, um, all right. The only solution to a revolution besides death is an existence of, ban of banning with presidential planning, a public divided by a caste system of wealth and external experience. Everything comes at a cost in the Land of the Lost. Nothing you can do, just go back to work and pull through. Don't be disturbed by the images that you're being shown or the police brutality that is growing. Urban decay, predator or prey, how long 
will they let you stay, offering another sacrifice in the blood outside the walls of our fortress to keep the dinosaurs at bay. As long as the problem is outside of these walls, I have the right to not give a fuck and spit on their luck. Ignorance, bliss, protect multiple ways from TV and internet streams. United we stand, divided we fall. Can we cut through the mist before we are all told to cease and resist? If we only learn to coexist, can we rise to change the cost and future and living of land of the lost? Next one I'm going to read is called This Place, and it is, again, sort of when I first moved out here, but the um, song is called This Place, These Faces, These Smells, Same Conversation, Typical Daily Relations, Inside Walls That Surround a Small Area of This Rock Flying Through Space, Can I Feel Like They Are Closing in Every Time You Move, This Place, A Space I Know All Too Well, Free to Roam, the same area till the end of the day where we are herded back to our cages and houses only to wake and do it all over again. Like Prometheus, a stagnation that slowly starts to rot away every coming day. They say we will be okay. This may try to make, they may try to make you stay. They may plead and they may beg, but this isn't your place. Let those people dig their own hole and bury themselves with the dirt they lied on. I will continue to fly instead of letting things continue to pile on. Erase this face from anything connected to this place. Woo! Actually, a lot. That was more South Carolina that one wasn't when I was out here. But um, I'm gonna do two more, and then I'm out of here. This one, another somewhat political one, but uh, it's called "In These Times." In these times, we sit and we stare, waiting to get richer. Our minds keep getting number. Life in our sedated in our section off living spaces. Most of us wait for a savior and continue our fucked up behavior. It's times like these where I wish there was a reset button for planet Earth. Abort, abort this birth, the evil it will become. It could be all over the setting of the sun. The corporate religion of money is bringing the planet to its knees. We play into their hands and do as they please. <clears throat> they got us addicted to buying a lifestyle built upon taking advantage of others and keeping the lies in rotation fear of the engine that keeps them going. The illusion of freedom is what we've been promised with the chains of the society securely fastened. Everything that can be brought can be given for free. I st <clears throat> Instead, everything is privatized for the ones who need it the least. Charged and sent away never to return. Slowly fall as we burn. When will we realize the lies and open our eyes? All right. The last one going to leave y'all with is sort of, I guess, where everybody's going to go after here because we do, we will never know. And uh, the song is called Into the Unknown. And it's, <clears throat> in the dark of night, we plunge forward, a flicker constantly surrounded by the blackness. The road appears as you step forward and disappears as soon as your foot leaves the ground. Evil souls wait hiding to ambush your spirit caravan. Even with a plan, you will never know until you go. Cruise control won't always be the way to run. What happens if you took that sight instead, and took that right instead of that left? This is the test. Choices by the voices inside of your head. You keep on traveling till you're dead. Unravel the fiber of your being, third eye seeing, finally believing. Peel back the layers of the mirage as you rip them apart and make a collage. The hologram you control could be considered a soul in some type of plane. Comfort leads way to the jaws of madness as we march forward, slowly crippled by time. Everyone has a n number in this line. Yeah! Awesome. I haven't read this song in a long time, if ever. I appreciate everybody that's here. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting Kickbutt. And on with the show.